भारत वेशांग सचिव डॉक्टर जयशंकर रविवार मणिपाल अकाडमी आफ् हयर एजुकेशन महे संस्थे भेटिया संस्था वदेश व्यार्थी जियो पॉलीटिस् विभाग व्यार्थी संवाद नडसदर्भली महे वैस चांसल डॉक्टर एम डि वेंकटेश प्रो चांसल डॉक्टर एच एस बलालवर वदेशांग सचिव स्वगत व्यार्थी संवाद भागवी मतना वदेशांग सचिव व्यार्थी विनिमय जगतिक मटली स्ने सौहार्द बेसोदे उत्तम मार्गवे भारत प्रस्तुत जी ट्वेंटी शृंगसभ्य अध्यक्षत पड़ेक प्रथम बार कौशल्यभिवृद्धि कुत नाच्ची संवाद कार्यक्रम महेली व्यसंगता वदेश व्यार्थी जियो पॉलीटिस् विभाग व्यार्थी महे आडल मंडल सदस्य भागव सचिव महे एक्सपीरियंस से भेटिया मेचुगन व्यक्तपुर the way we used to approach politics that you know there are nations there is sovereignty there is border uh, uh. thank you very much uh, let me try. i have visited most of the countries which you represent maybe not all still working at it i think a large part today of foreign policy is how to connect with the world better
hears snatches about G20, do understand that we are trying to make it a kind of a larger societal uh, sort of enterprise. Uh, but I am really, really very, very pleased to see such a large number of students and such a uh, great diversity uh, of students. So I, I uh, just spent a few minutes at the Experience Center. So uh, I told Mr. Pai when he asked me, what is your feedback? I said, I wish I was a few years younger and <laughs> could have studied here. So I envy all of you looking at him. It has been said that the relationship has not been realized to its maximum potential. Do you agree with the potential? Yeah. 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 And do you agree with the assessment and um, where can we see it heading into the future? Uh, in many ways, if you look, you know, at countries which have modernized and progressed very uh, remarkably in the last century, century and a half, uh, they have very consciously targeted the world for technology, for best practices, for capital, for experiences. And in this regard, uh, at the level which we are in today in India, there's a lot that the EU can offer to us. Uh, we have never had that very purposeful way of engaging, not just the EU, uh, it would apply broadly, but it is particularly relevant. Uh, also, the EU today is our biggest trade partner, uh, EU as a, Europe as an aggregate. Uh, but uh, the, the possibilities could be very much more. In fact, in many areas we have ceded space, uh, you know, in garments to, uh, to Bangladesh, uh, in other areas to say a Vietnam or an Indonesia. Uh, so, we need uh, today uh, uh, I, I think it would be very beneficial for us to get uh, uh, a free trade agreement with Europe. Uh, a third area is exactly what I referred to, which was if you look at the need today for reliable supply chains. Europe also wants to, you know, to, everybody wants to de-risk the global economy. To de-risk the global economy, they need more supply chains, you know, redundant supply chains, multiple supply chains. So there is a possibility if we get, you know, our domestic preparation right, that Europe is prepared to do more with India. Uh, and in the digital domain, uh, because today, you know, concerns of data privacy and data security are so high, uh, we we actually are, are uh, trying to have a serious technology 